Okay, this is just a quick video uh, on an incident that happened to me about a year ago. And I bring it up today because um, I had a solicitor come to my house today and ring my doorbell trying to sell me something. And um, I basically told him to go away and, and that was fine. But about a year ago, um, I was, uh, it was in about 10 o'clock in the morning, I was on my way to a gun range and I packed up my whole, you know, range bag and I put all my stuff in it and uh, I was going down the stairs and um, the doorbell rang and there was two guys wearing white shirts and little bow ties and um, I looked through the glass door and I opened the door and I said I could help you. Uh, one of the guys says yeah we're here to sell magazines and I said oh I'm okay I don't need any magazines thank you. I said by the way this town really doesn't allow people to solicit door to door. There is an ordinance and you're not allowed to do it. And the guy made some kind of a slightly uh, wise remark, but he was kind of um, respectful. So with that, I said, no, thanks, you know, go. And uh, that's it. And anyway, the other guy then butted in and he goes, could I just say one thing? And I said, sure. And meanwhile, I'm standing between him and the screen door. And the guy said, well, you know, Guys like us, we used to be uh, problem people. And I'm like, really? And he goes, yeah. And now we're trying to get our acts together and we you know, are going around soliciting magazines. So in essence, if you buy a magazine from us, you keep someone like myself from breaking into a house like your house. And I said, no kidding, that's really interesting. And I said, uh, so you had a problem past? And he goes, yeah, I did all kinds of things. I said, you know, it's funny, me too. I said, I could probably tell you some stories that make your head spin, but I won't. I says, but you know what else is interesting? When someone talks about, you know, break it into my house, I, I worry for that person. And he's like, what? I said, oh, yeah. I says, because, you know, when you break into my house, there's so many things that could happen. And... At the time, I had two extremely well-trained um, dogs that were practicing the art of shunsing, which is a, uh, an, uh, basically an attack dog uh, thing from Germany. It's a whole big process, but they listen to commands and they attack on command. And, and they were sitting patiently in my foyer while I was talking to them. And I said, you know, again, I would feel sorry for the person, uh, you know, who broke into my house. I says, because, you know, a couple of things would stop them. Um, one being my two little buddies over here, and they were 130 pounds each, so not really little. And two, and that's why I have this out, I lifted up my shirt and I had this in an inside the waistband, right uh, in an appendix carry right in my shirt. I said, this also helps people from breaking into the houses. So I said, so before you go around telling that story again, you should really maybe worry about who's on the other side of the door inside that house. And uh, that's it. So quick story. It's kind of funny, really. You know, someone threatening me in my own house. Probably one of the worst things in the world that someone could do. And, uh, you know, a stupid thing to do. But I wonder how many poor people are basically bullied into giving money to someone like that because they, you know, they say something like that. If you don't buy a magazine, you know, I could, in essence, um, you know, rob your house. You know, some poor old lady or some guy, uh, someone like that. So just shows you why, again, you always have to be armed. Even when you're in your house, you have to be armed. Yes, I was on the way out, out the door. And uh, like I said, I even had my range bag there with two other guns. But, you know, this one was easily accept acceptable, accessible. Anyway, so quick story, kind of funny. Uh, at the time, I laughed actually in the guy's face when he said that because the guy wouldn't have stood a chance. But anyway, all right. Thanks for listening. Always uh, like, share and subscribe if you can. Thanks very much.